What's up, everybody? I'm going to show you how I made the shot you just watched. So what I use is a program called Video Leap, as you can see right here. I do have the pro version. I paid for it mainly because the pro version, you get uh, sound effects, you get music you can use that ain't copywritten, um, and you get more effects. So, but the free version is, is good. You can use it for just about anything uh, and get it done, but you want to add your own special effects, you know, you have to put it on some other kind of program just to upload it or, you know, add it to it, so to speak. So let me find my footage. It is right here. I'm gonna add it to my project. As you can see, there's my timeline. Now, I'm going to skip ahead because I did put up quite a few bricks before I finally got the right shot. And it is right here. Let me see. I'll go ahead and play it. I'm trying to the box up. All right. I knew that one was good, right? You see me dancing right before it even went in. I just felt it. That was a great shot. So... I'm going to scroll back to where, where I want to start it off at. I say I want to start it off right here, right? Because I can swipe grab the ball. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scroll over here. I'm going to click split. So it splits the clip, right? I can click on this one and just straight scroll over here and delete it. So that way I just have the clip I want, right? It starts where I want it. Boom, where I'm grabbing the ball from that previous brick. And I'm going to you know, do a little behind the back stroll on over here now here's where it gets important all right actually what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this this uh the scene right reason why i'm gonna duplicate it is because i'm gonna go ahead and pull it up here put it in the in the mixer part of this program the mixer is where you can double up on scenes now with the pro version you can double up on top of that you can you know do double layers but with the free version you can only do one layer so you could do this with the free version now here's where this is kind of important over here you have a mask right and this you want to do the linear because you're going to cut it in half right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this at an angle scroll it over here by where i'm going to be shooting and i'll show you why so First off, I'm gonna go ahead and pin this clip, this top clip. I'm gonna hit that little safety pin, not safety pin, tack, it's a tack. That way it's tacked to the part I want it to be at, right? So I'm gonna scroll over. Uh, okay, so here's a shot, right? The shot is right there. So I'm gonna scroll this right here. And I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to scroll back. I'm going to split the scene, right? Click on that part. See, it's tacked right there. That's why I want it. I'm gonna get rid of this thing because I don't need it anymore. Boom, it's gone, right? So here's where it's gonna get fun. I am going to make this part go in slow mo. say we'll scroll it back to about 30 see how that looks perfect oh that is dope got it on the first try oh okay now you see that you see how see how it cuts me off though when I'm walking back towards the camera I'll show you how to fix that I'm gonna scroll it back to about to about 20. Let's see how slow mo that that is right there. That's real slow. It's just like just how I wanted it. 
just like my original video, right? Because the bottle didn't hit the ground until I was already walk, walking back up. Now, here's the cool part. So, I'm going to get it off of speed. And right... Ooh. Oh, crap. I moved it. I'm going to do the back arrow. Boom. Now it's back to where I needed it. All right. So, I'm going to... Right here. I'm going to go back over to my mask... Right now you see where it's at. So what you can do is since the ball has already left my hands, it's in the air, I can click this diamond all the way over to the right. It's gonna add a uh, a point to it to where you can do things, right? So I'm gonna scroll forward. Oh damn, I keep doing it. I'm gonna scroll forward and I'm gonna move this like this. Scroll forward a little more move it over here and then that's it i really don't need it anymore right actually yeah i do because my fingers you see my fingers i'm gonna go ahead and move it all the way over here because now i don't even really matter if it's in the frame or not boom okay and then right here I'm going to go ahead and go back. I'm going to split the clip. Boom. And then click this and delete it. I don't need it anymore. I don't need the end of that. Right? So now let's go ahead and watch it. Boom, there it is. That is how I made that shot. If you have any questions or concerns or some tips for me to make it look even better, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm always open for suggestions and all that good stuff. Oh, what you can also do is, so like what I did was, like I said, I have the pro version. So I went to audio, right? I found some music and a sound effect to uh since i said i made it rain because that shot was perfect you see it just went straight through i added a little thunder sound effect to it to make it sound like you know what i'm saying like thunderstruck when I, when I hit that bucket and um yeah that's it that's how you do it and then you do is you hit that export and you pick your frame rate. I usually do 720 and 60. 60, as it says, it gives you smoother animations. Uh, but other than that, I do that 720 because uh, that's about what I record in on my iPhone. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for my next videos. Like and subscribe. Peace.